There's an old saying, a phrase that is used. I'm sure you've heard it, maybe even said it yourself. That phrase is this, take five. It means to stop for a moment to catch your breath and regroup before getting back into the action. That's what I'm asking you to do right now. Stop what you're doing and take five minutes to let the Word of God breathe new life into you and allow the Spirit of God to grant you your second wind, to not only face the journey ahead of you, but to finish strong. The clock is already ticking, so let's get started. All right, so I want to apologize for two things. Number one, it's been about two weeks since I've did a five minute video. And number two, this is not the normal set background. I'm not in the studio recording this. It's been a little hectic, a little busy lately, which kind of brings me to this place and kind of brings me to this subject that I want to share with you. Um, as I said, it's been busy. It's just been nonstop, go, 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 go. A lot of things happening. Um, and yesterday, Sunday, things just kind of came to a head for me. Kind of felt like I don't know, I was coming apart maybe. Just felt like I was unraveling. <laughs> One of my favorite passages of scripture is in Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 through 30, where Jesus says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. I believe this is predominantly a spiritual invitation that Jesus gives us, but I'm often reminded of it. But today I want to share another invitation that Jesus gave his disciples in the Gospels. There was a time when they were so busy, so much so that they didn't even have time to stop and eat. And Jesus says to the disciples, come ye apart to a secluded place with me and rest a while. And the Lord has been reminding me of that, and so today that's what I did. I jumped on my bike and just rode out to the woods, made my way down here to the creek, I just spent my day down here in the scriptures, meditating, just being quiet, just allowing myself physically, which is what I mean, what I believe this um, invitation is more about a physical invitation where Jesus has come apart. Because sometimes if we fail to come apart, like me, you feel like you're going to come apart. And so I just spent some time resting physically. Just put on some shorts and sat down by the creek with my feet in the water. Allowed myself to rest mentally, just thinking about nothing at times, just listening to the water, listening to the sound of nature, allowing myself emotionally to just let it go, if you will, and rest, spend time in the scriptures. It was just a good time to get away and just want to encourage you, make sure you come apart Especially in those times like me when you feel like, well, hey, I, I feel like I am coming apart. Well, that's a sure sign that it's time for you to come apart. Now, I like to get out in nature, whether it's hiking, riding my motorcycle, canoeing, whatever it might be. I don't know what your thing is, but I would encourage you, whatever it is, spend time doing it. Get away. I'm out here. I have no cell coverage service out here no interruptions, spend some time getting away, but make sure you're not getting away from the Lord. Come apart with him to a place by yourself and rest. Hey guys, be sure to click like and subscribe if this video helped you. And most importantly, 
Share it with someone you think would benefit from a spiritual breather themselves. God bless you. I'll catch you on our next break.